y'all. I kind of went a little crazy on the Sims 4 store, bought some stuff, you know? I, I'm an addict. I am literally an addict. <laughs> hello guys welcome back to my channel hopefully you are doing well we are back again with another episode of my sims 4 legacy wedding stories series it's me brie brimona <laughs> brianna whichever one you like the best we're back again with another video and i am very excited to play today I actually haven't played in a couple weeks actually yeah, i've changed up so many things with my game i have a lot of things planned for today definitely make sure to subscribe down below for more videos in the series and also let me know what your favorite part is of the video by definitely giving me a like and also commenting down in the comment section but without further ado let's just hop right onto it because i miss naomi I especially miss david like y'all don't even understand I really miss that man. <laughs> I really miss him. But yeah, we're just gonna hop right onto the video. Uh, hello. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you're probably wondering like, why are you in different clothes? What's going on? Um, it's actually the next day after I filmed that intro. I didn't want to like restart it because I wanted to show you guys all of my new Sims merch that I got. But yeah, I was literally planning on filming the next episode of the series but there was a huge update for the sims that literally happened right when it was about to film and i had to update my game and then once i loaded in literally all of my mods broke like literally mostly all of them i spent literally three hours updating and going through every single one of my mods taking them all out putting them back it was stressful but yeah, I literally couldn't even play because all of my sims were like, all of them were just going like this. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? They're just all going like this, like they're penguins or something. So yeah, I had no idea what that, what that was. Like so many like BE exceptions, Twisted Mexi's mod was just blowing up. MCC was blowing up. I had to take out Wicked Whims because that was just, they were almost everything. I had needed to be updated so I literally had to go through and spend so much time updating them but now it is done <laughs> we are back it's the next day uh so sorry about the switch I just want to let you guys know what was happening because you would have been like weren't you just wearing like what what's going on yeah it was rough but I went through and got it Thing. so let's hop right into the video because i'm really 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 excited and i wanted to play so bad yesterday too but i'm glad we at least get to play today so we're gonna hop right onto the video and we're here with naomi and david and y'all last episode we went through everything with the miscarriage and naomi kind of you know getting back into herself and you know just getting through having that miscarriage and really you know going to therapy and just really trying to take care of herself after losing her child so we're here with david and naomi and you guys are probably looking like oh my gosh what's happening so david and naomi right now are at the cemetery and this is a uh, naomi kind of uh broke down a little bit and david's kind of like comforting her um on the ground you know it's uh it's 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 a pretty sad time it's a pretty sad time but i actually was looking into having a cemetery for all of my legacy gameplay sims and i was watching a lot of other sims creators who have legacy gameplays that they actually were going through and creating graveyards or cemeteries where they can house all of their sims who have passed so i wanted to start doing that because i'm literally on generation three and i was like i don't want to keep going any further without having this cemetery so i mean it was a little like weird to kind of get excited about a cemetery but the, the the part that was like exciting for me was putting all of my sims and looking back at like the history of my legacy gameplay so all of my sims who i have in my legacy gameplay whether they're um i'm probably just gonna do like the main family of course their spouse and then their children and then we're just gonna gonna go through that like family tree the thing that i'm gonna change a little bit is this series that i have for naomi and really going through her story i'm actually gonna have parts of people or sims from naomi's story be in the cemetery too because i mean 
like Simone and Phoenix, like they've been in the series the whole time. Like, I don't want to just be like, oh yeah, like they're just not going to be like, we want to still remember them and still have them in the cemetery too. So we're going to have some other Sims who, you know, way, way, way in the future. We don't want to think about them dying right now, <laughs> but way, way, way in the future when they do pass, I want to have a lot of the Sims that were connected to Naomi because of the series, you know, we're, we're really getting to know all of them. I want them to be in my cemetery too. So we'll have some of David's family in the cemetery. And then of course we'll have Naomi and then like Simone, Phoenix, all of like the close people to her. So that's where we're at right now. Um, I was thinking of doing like a funeral for the baby, but I was like, I don't really know if I should or like, I, 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 didn't, I didn't really plan on doing it, but then as I was really getting all these things with the cemetery together, I was like, oh man, we need to do it. We need to, because we have to add the baby. Like we have to, you know? So this is uh, Naomi and David um, on the ground here. And this is our little baby's little gravestone. So I have like a little like congratulatory um, little like letter here that someone had gave like Naomi when found out that she was pregnant. And I have like some toys and things that David and Naomi had bought for the baby. And then this is actually the ultrasound. It's so sad. Like this is literally so sad. Like when I put it all together, I was like, oh my God. It's so sad, y'all. It's so sad. But I really, really wanted the baby here. I didn't want to just like brush over it because the baby was still a life. Even though didn't really get to live a whole full life, the baby was still a sim that's a part of Naomi's life. So I wanted to have a spot for the baby. So the baby is right here. There's Naomi and David just over here. And then also I wanted to show you guys that uh, Malaya, Naomi's mom, is actually here as well. She's dressed in all black. And then we have Shinguru. He's just, I don't know, why are you happy Shinguru? You but he's just like happy to see his wife but you know this is the part of the cemetery that i actually started so if you guys have seen my legacy family tree video it's the first episode well it's not really episode it's like episode zero but it's like the first video before we started the series and it was basically showcasing all of the members in my family legacy series and uh, we went through and saw all of these uh sims but this is shayna and then this is benjamin or ben and then we have Gunner and then London. So all of them have passed on already. And they are, you know, this is the beginning part of the family tree. So Malaya is actually the daughter of Shayna and Benjamin. And she's the sister of Gunner and London. So she's actually the youngest so she's still alive she is an elder so malaya will be passing soon but it's it's so sad to say but literally malaya spots right here that is literally makes me so sad but i wanted the main five members who started my legacy family to be in this spot in the top corner right here so i wanted them to be right here this is the family that started it and then i actually made some cc i did not know that making cc was like say it's that easy but it was easier than i thought it was gonna be like i literally made these picture frames into custom content and uploaded them in my game so i can at least have a picture here to show because i've been loving james turner <laughs> and i've been watching literally all of his efforts i've been like binging like all of his past like let's play series <laughs> So I actually saw when he was making his cemetery for his big wallets sim family and he actually put like these photos here. So shout out to James Turner. Thanks for the idea. I really, really love that because then you get to like go back and be like, oh, that's what they look like. And, you know, this is them part of the family. Like it's just, I, I, I really needed it. I really needed it. But yeah, so this is first five. Well, minus Malaya. She's still alive. <laughs> She's still here. And then I wanted to put this picture up too because I did take this photo of all of them like a family photo so I really wanted that up there as well and uh, yeah this is like the part where you can like have like the funeral service I don't really want like a funeral service really for like Naomi I just kind of wanted you know them to like just come over and just see the baby but also there is some spots right here open and this is actually Takumi and Takumi is actually well Takumi was married to London so this is London's husband both London and Takumi have passed and then Gun I he was never married to Leilani let me just actually show you guys the family tree because y'all like you're just saying names and I just I don't know <laughs> 
Like, I don't know these names. Okay, so this is Shayna up at the top. This is um who we saw like way at the end, Shayna. So Shayna and Benjamin, they both had, so this is Benjamin and then Shayna. They both had the three kids. So London was the oldest and then Gunnar and then Malaya. And then I, I wonder why it doesn't say who she was married to, but she married to Kumi. Like we literally, we got married to him. I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't show that. Oh, there it is. Okay. To Kumi right here. Um, and then they have two kids, Dennis and Javi are still alive. And then Gunnar, he didn't marry L Lenani. He didn't marry Lenani, but, um, I don't, I didn't never really played with him. They just had two kids together. So I don't, I mean, they are part of our family. So maybe we do add them into the family tree. I'm thinking that I want to. And then of course, Malaya right now is alive. And then these are the four kids. And then this is uh, the baby that Naomi had. Um, but yeah, that's part of the family tree so far. So I'm like, you know, I want to have this cemetery. And actually this cemetery is, freaking gorgeous it's actually named Harden Garden Cemetery and Harden is actually the last names of Ben and Shayna that's you know the the last name of the actual family so I thought that you know we would have it as the Harden Garden family and I like how it rhymes you know Harden Garden and it's supposed to be really like a lot of flowers and vegetation but it is winter time so everything's kind of dead which is I mean it fits in but I hate that I hate that. I wish it was like more flowers and whatnot, but we'll come back in the spring and take a look at it too. And it's actually created by such an amazing creator. I actually have it on the screen here. If you guys do want to check out this cemetery, definitely want to give credit where credit is due. Amazing, amazing build. This is the right wait where, where is it this way this is the creator right here so definitely go check it out um if you guys want to have this cemetery as well. So and I have so many spots where I can put all of my other like sims and I might like shorten these some these up some um but I don't know we'll, we'll have to see I mean we're not there yet like where we need to like make space I think we could just like work with the space that we have right now but I do love this section without further ado let's hop right on to the game yeah this is a uh, her and David and yeah look at the water in the back like this is just oh my gosh man I can't oh and also another thing as well you guys um ma'am can we talk to our child please ma'am this is not it please <laughs> anyways oh david oh um hello hello oh okay um was not expecting that okay anyways <laughs> anyways back to the baby hello so actually i wrote a little message on here um i put on here i put unidentified because we, we didn't really name the baby or even knew if it was a boy or a girl but i did check um naomi and it was a girl if you guys are curious <laughs> to what it was but it was a girl but they didn't know this is just me knowing you know the person controlling their lives so i put on here our beloved little one you will forever be in our hearts love mommy naomi and daddy david so i put that there just so we can always have that for them and just like something that they wrote you know just in memory of the baby so huh did david just give naomi flowers oh my gosh that is so cute what the heck oh my gosh there's malaya malaya just came over just to check on naomi and Hope she's doing all right. But yeah, they're just gonna sit over here and like chat and really just kind of like hang out together and you know, just be there for Naomi, you know. we Where is Shigeru at? Shigeru, where are you? Where did he go? Shigeru, what? Shigeru, Shigeru. Oh my gosh, there's so many dogs here. Oh my gosh, what is that? <gasps> Murphy, Noodle. Oh my gosh, can I talk to Noodle? <laughs> can we talk to Noodle? <gasps> Oh, it's a little pug. That's so cute. And I don't know where Shigeru went. Oh my God, look at this dog. I added in a mod where I can have so many more strays because I felt like there weren't enough strays. Like, see more dogs around. Hello? <laughs> well, this is a big dog. Oh my gosh, this dog is so cute. Oh my gosh, Tom. This is already four strays, y'all. This is so cute. Oh my, and another stray cashew. Oh my gosh, but yeah, this is a very, 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 very nice. Oh gosh, look at it in first person. It looks really good. This was very, very, very well done. It's coming over and viewing. Be like, hi, grandma. I didn't mean to, I, 
I didn't even want to come here as soon as I did. Shinkiru is calling us? What are you going to come and visit? Shinkiru, you were just here. Come over right now. I've got nothing to do. He did not just say that. I'm sure if you've got nothing else happening. Shinkiru, what are you talking about? This guy, man. This guy. Alrighty, so we're actually going to have Naomi come over and... Uh, Talk to Shingiru. We'll have Shingiru and Naomi come over because I did want um, Shingiru to talk to Naomi. I'm gonna have them come over and sit. I really want Naomi and Shingiru to chat with each other because Shingiru really wants to talk to Naomi about what happened because they haven't really talked ever since like Winterfest happened and then he got into the fight with David's dad, with Derek. So he's kind of just gonna tell Naomi like, hey, you know, I know that, you know, like, I didn't mean for... What did he say to her? Anger bomb. Oh, she thinks her dad is mean. This is not the time, Shigeru. Not for you making her angry. You're supposed to be... Did Shigeru become evil? Like, what? This is not the time. <laughs> They're y'all supposed to be making up. I wanted Shigeru to, like, come over and, like, apologize for everything. Now Naomi's just, like, feeling pissed. Like, she's just like, I did not want to hear what you had to say right now. Like, this is not the time for you to be talking about this. Like, and Shigeru's like, hey, like, I know that everything that happened, you know, is very, like, upsetting, and, you know, we're here for you, but maybe we should talk about what happened at Winterfest later, because Shigeru's making Naomi really pissed. She's probably just like, I do not want to, like, talk about because like they didn't really get to like fully talk about it um because like naomi's just kind of like in her feelings you know being here at the cemetery for the baby and she's just like not feeling her best we'll let naomi cool off some and we are gonna go back home and she's gonna be like you know what dad like I just, I don't really want to talk about all of this that happened at Winterfest. Like, let's actually just talk about it some other time. And, um, yeah, she's going to go home. Where in, what in the world? Oh, she has to go all the way down here just to leave. <laughs> you know what, Naomi? You can stop right there. I will help you. <laughs> and I want somebody like David to look at me the way that he looks at Naomi. Like, look at him. Okay, let's go upstairs. David is my bathtub, isn't he? You was in there, wasn't you, David? The, the bathtub dirty? Uh-huh. And David, you could put on clothes, my good sir. You could put on clothes if, if you want. I mean, we'll take you how you are. But if you want to put on some clothes. Oh, okay. Uh, never mind then. Never mind. <laughs> so we'll have Naomi clean. Oh, yeah. Let's actually clean this up too because there's a lot of mold that comes here if places are dirty. So, oh, what did I say? What did I literally say? All right. David, instead of washing your hands, how about you help clean? Please. All right, let's have her clean that up. So this is actually the bouquet that David gave to us after we found out that we weren't having the baby, that we're having like the miscarriage. So we actually need to throw that out. I didn't even know that they get dirty that quick. Oh, we could sell it. Hold on. Hey, three simoleons is three simoleons. <laughs> let's actually pay our bills and rent. Wait, is she downstairs still? Naomi, the, no. Why are we vacuuming that? This girl. All right, we're going to pay our bills and rent, and then I'll have her go back upstairs. But what I really want Naomi to start is, of course, we need to get another freelance gig because we are very close to being like top dog of the freelance writer career. And I was thinking like after we get there, um, I really want Naomi to like start a blog and start publishing like her books and getting all of her writing out there because she's been working with specific goals or tasks, but she hasn't really like posted or she hasn't really published or even posted a lot of like her own personal work, you know? So I really, really want her to do that. Let's see, freelance, check for gigs. And then I really want her to finish the love freelance writer because she's kind of thinking like, hey, like, you know, she's having a little bit of fame, you know, because a lot of people are starting to notice her now because of her work that she already has. Uh, Simone, what do you want? You ended up not going to date with Sky Hambly. Oh, thanks. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, so um, let's do let's just do this one. I think this one to be cool. But I really want her to like start a blog. You better turn off that music, Naomi. They're gonna come and try to charge you again. <laughs> a deep indigo blog. Okay, I want her to start a blog. And we're gonna register for Sim Blogger. And we're gonna turn that off, Naomi. Because they're gonna come for us. 
<laughs> and I really want her to get into it and um, grow up her following some hmm. because she's going to start like publishing publishing her books and getting paid for that. She already published Blight and is actually doing fairly well. So yeah, Blight is doing really well. So I, I'm like, hey, like she has so many other books that we can have. I really want her to get into it. And we're going to choose our blog type. I want her to have a personal blog. Uh, so I think that'll be great. Is anyone at the front door? Who is this? A little kid? It's not even at our front door. What are you talking about? Okay, anyways. Well, New Year's is coming up. So this one, top five New Year resolutions for a better you. I think that'd be perfect because New Year's is literally coming up. It's going to be this coming Saturday. So that'll be a good blog to like start and post. Naomi, uh, oh my gosh, change volume. It's already on low. Change station. <gasps> she gained 60 followers. Now she has 200 and. 73 okay w all right is she hungry she is kind of hungry <gasps> you know another thing i i noticed i realized when i was placing things down for my game but she actually has another grill y'all because of the the potluck it gave us a grill and i did not realize it until i was editing that video <laughs> but yeah i want to put down this grill this would be really cool maybe i'll put down the pc um and i'll put her laptop i'll put her laptop in um her, like pockets we can have it like to go nice uh, let's go all right so we're actually gonna grill custom foods grill foods uh let's see <gasps> steak and collards Ooh, i don't think i've seen her do that okay let's see whoa this is kind of nice hold on i totally forgot to mention but malaya is actually hosting a family gathering that's kind of why shingiru wanted to talk to naomi about derek because derek and you know the family are coming down because malaya invited both of them They're, she was kind of thinking like hey okay we need to settle what happened at Winterfest, we need to actually become a family because the wedding is like next week. The wedding's coming up. Like we have a lot of things. Oh my God, this is the whole thing. This is the whole meal, bro. <laughs> we got a, we got a lot of things like coming up and we need have to prepare for the wedding and like we need to be a family, okay? Like we can't be having all of this, you know, going on and happening. So Malaya is planning a family gathering and a dinner and um, we're gonna have it tomorrow. So I'm excited for that. But Jesus, Naomi, hello. Let me get a piece of that. Grab a serving. Yes, ma'am. It's like a big old plate. <laughs> oh man, this is actually really cool. And then let's actually just put this away. Oh yeah, and also you guys, I gave Naomi a lot of new outfits. <laughs> Since the last time I played, I've downloaded so much CC. A lot of alpha CC, a lot of alpha clothing CC. So yeah, she's rocking all these new alpha fits. Oh, huh? Simone. Oh my gosh. What in the world? You're sitting here baking cakes and sneezing on them? Well, thank you for the cake, I guess. Ah, oh, jeez. All right. Well, I'll wait for Naomi to wake up. Uh, I think she might be up, actually. Yeah, she might be up soon, so. All right. So we got Brother David texting us. Hey, Naomi, it's David. Do you want to go on a date? David, at the bar, we're actually not going to go because we're going to see you later on today, David. I don't know why you want to go to the bar at 11 in the morning. Be for real. <laughs> Be for real, my guy. That's kind of crazy. All right, so yeah, we're gonna have Naomi get up and then let's put this cake away. Actually, wait, we could sell it for 24? Yeah, let's actually sell it. Cause am I really gonna eat that cake? Let's be serious. Am I really gonna eat that cake? No. Oh, actually there is something that I downloaded that I really wanna have them try out. Activities, play rock, paper, scissors. I wanna see what this looks like. Um, but let me actually give Naomi an outfit. Cause I don't want her walking downstairs and that. Yeah, this is another outfit that I gave her. She's a Chanel girly. <laughs> We'd love to see it. <laughs> oh shoot. He got him. Oh, Naomi better win. The way he said. <laughs> Who won? Naomi has learned that uh, Kaito is a goofball and adventurous. Okay. Wait, it doesn't say who won? That's actually kind of cool though. So we're actually just gonna like, we're actually gonna do some yoga actually. So I'll practice some yoga. Unpleasant surroundings. Yeah, it's kind of filthy back here, but go on girl, do you think? <laughs> but yeah, I gave her this fit too. I love like the half and half. Like look, oh, it's so cute. I wonder if I can host the party, but then have it to be at Malaya's house. Um, I don't know if that'll work. Oh Lord, there's a water leak. Y'all, I can't with this. <laughs> Repair or replace all broken water objects. Mop puddles. Oh Jesus. Someone has sprung a leak and 
and the water is out. The neighbors could also be affected. Call the property owner to sort out the fixes. Chloe did not know what she was getting herself into because she's literally cleaning up this mold. Now there's water leakage everywhere. Oh my gosh, bruh. I think it's just my, I think it's just my sink. Oh, and my shower. Not my bathtub, which is great. So we're gonna come over and repair that. Can't believe these sinks aren't even like affected or the washing machine. If it's not one thing, it's the next. Attempt to take a shower, imagine. Like soaked out here, Jesus. All right, so I'm gonna have Naomi uh, clean up some and we might have to uh, go to the party a little bit later. You should really get going. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can. I mean, you live here, you can leave whenever you want. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. And they gave us some money. Great job sorting out the water leak problem. As a result, the unit rating went up. Let's go. Send me 114 for helping. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right, so um, let's actually have Naomi change her outfit for the party. What are we gonna wear? Oh, I do like this new one that I gave her. The little, the dress. Oh man, that is cute. Okay, maybe we'll wear that. And then I'm gonna have her uh, start up the party too. Oh. Yeah, cause I was thinking five o'clock, so it's actually kind of perfect timing. Um, let's see, okay, let's start the party. At a wedding event, we are gonna have a family gathering. Uh, we'll have Naomi, yeah, she could be the host. We're gonna have David. We can bring over Simone, right? Yeah, Simone. Archie, Elion, Marla, Malaya, Shingiru. Um, actually, wait, I'll take out Simone because we gotta add Charlene, Derek, Dylan, Sunny, and uh, where's her brother? There we go, Dwight. Is that everybody? Okay, and then we add Simone and the Phoenix. I wanna make sure I had uh, the whole family. <laughs> yeah, I think that's everybody. All right, so we are going to have a celebration feast, and then we're gonna have a toast, and then have some drinks. And then we're gonna do it at the Hardin residence. And we're gonna have it for five o'clock. We're actually gonna cook something there. I'm actually gonna have her make the food when we get there because there's a lot of new custom food items that I got that I'm like, yo, I, I wanna make this. Also, I keep forgetting that I really wanna put these photos down. Let me actually like get a wall. <laughs> so we have these ones from Halloween that I still haven't put down. But I'm like, yo, I need to put these down. All these photos that we took at Chloe so she could get on our good side. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's sell these. Photos of our property owner in our pocket is a little strange. But I have these two. I really like these two. These are cute. I'll put this one there. And then I'll put this one here. And then I also need to be Simone so I can get the photos that she took of David and Naomi when they went to Mount Kamarebi. So we are going to make food. Wait, should we bring it? What am I doing? Open, yeah, let's bring all of this. Hello, and let's bring this. They'll eat that up. <laughs> Are you really eating that? Naomi, she just could not help herself. We're, we're back in the Hardin household and uh, Naomi is actually here. I love her earrings, just wanna point that out. She, her, they are very cute. I want those earrings literally for myself. I really want uh, Naomi to put this food out. All right, so I'll have everybody call attendees to activity. Let's eat food. Derek and... Oh, oh, they're here. Okay, I was about to say, they're, they're running a little a little late. Oh my gosh. Well, let's have everybody eat. Wait, did every... we call everybody to eat? Call to a meal, Naomi. Yeah, you guys, get some of this food I made yesterday. <laughs> get some of this food I made yesterday. But yeah, we got food. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, it smells. Oh no. Don't eat that. Oh no, wait, eat the steak dinner. Oh, my quesadillas are gone bad. <laughs> Sorry, I'm poisoning the family. Everybody's like, um, what is this? Is this supposed to be like this? What's this? Oh, it's the white, okay. Oh, see, I've never seen that fit. All right, you know what? I'm gonna make it up to everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna make it up to everybody. Um, Let, let me actually um make a dinner. <laughs> I'm poisoning the family. Oh my gosh. Okay. Spaghetti. Oh yeah, let's just do spaghetti. Let's do a party size. Okay, Naomi. The toasty celebration bucket. I don't think I have that. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is it? Really? We got the celebration bucket. All right, so request a toast from... What we'll have Shingiri do the toast? Oh my gosh, everybody likes the steak. Okay, don't eat the... Oh my gosh, Simone already ate some of the quesadilla. I did not know it was gonna go bad that quick. That is crazy. 
Oh my gosh. It looks like everybody's kind of, you know, vibing. Is Shingiru gonna make a toast? Okay, yeah, there we go, Shingiru. So, uh, Dad, yeah, you gonna make a toast? He's like, you know, you don't know, I got you. I got you. <laughs> I got you. Oh my gosh, I've never seen the toast interaction. Oh, he says, so to Naomi, to David, to family. I just want to say I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Let's drink up to this let's cheers to that oh my gosh it's still smelling i feel so bad all right and then we'll have naomi actually simone are you really spying on me <laughs> i'm just gonna have naomi um just chat with her future father-in-law and we'll we'll compliment his fit but oh yeah um derek you have i really like that jacket derek just became good friends with naomi wait they're good friends oh my, i did not know the relationship was that good oh my gosh that's probably why naomi was so disappointed in and how Shigeru was acting. Shigeru looks a little drunk. Like, look at his face. <laughs> he look a little drunk, not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, let's make the spaghetti. Where did David go? Oh my gosh, there's Charlene. We should chat with her too. I feel like Naomi and Charlene will be so close, but Charlene, does she still have a crush on us? <laughs> like, that's why like, I haven't had Naomi like talk to Charlene as much because i'm like wait like does she have a crush on us david cannot stay out of the water david uh, oh my god look at phoenix getting down right she's just like hey hey this is my jam hey 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 <laughs> oh, simone stop spying on me ma'am why are you spying on me all the time oh my gosh your mom's like oh naomi like you don't have to keep cooking like it's fine you can actually socialize with the guests like it's naomi is like that kind of sim that's like mom like let me help how long does this take to make this food i want to see what it looks like who is on is this <laughs> look Derek is the cutest he is not on here doing this shit. oh jeez, i'm sick <laughs> Oh, sick. Oh my gosh, this spaghetti looks so good. Oh no. Ah! My game literally does not want me to succeed, okay? <laughs> it might pop back up again, I don't know, but is everybody leaving? Okay, yeah, everybody's going back home. Yeah, so we have like Derek and Dylan and Charlene and all them. Some of them are gonna stay over at David's place, but then they do have like a little like hotel and things like that they're gonna stay at coming from Sulani. So we should actually hang out with them because they're actually staying for, um, I think they're staying until like New Year's, I think. Yeah, so. Yeah, they'll be staying for New Year's over here, just helping us out and doing everything for the wedding. So it'll actually be very, very, very cool to get to hang out more with Charlene and Sunny and Dwight and get to just like chill and hang out with them. So um, David's actually just going to stay with us. <laughs> we don't mind. I, I definitely don't mind. Like he can he can stay as long as he wants. Um, But yeah, we don't mind. Come on over, David. We don't mind. I actually want Naomi to start the little, like, blog. I think while we're here and it's already midnight, she's actually just gonna... David did go home with his fam, though, but we will see him tomorrow because he is gonna stay with us while the family is gonna be here in Newcrest. So David is actually gonna stay with us, but I do want Naomi to, like, hang out with, like, her family while they're already here. I think David might come back. <laughs> there's a there's a lot of them, and only, like, they have two better in place. So <laughs> I think he's probably gonna come back and stay over at Malaya's house because they have so much room over here. Because I'm like, I don't know how David is gonna stay with all of them at his place. He's probably just gonna be like, you know what? I'm actually gonna go to my girlfriend's <laughs> parents' house and stay over with her so yeah we might be seeing david um in a little bit we'll bring him back yeah we'll, we'll just say he we just went to go get his stuff because there's no way he's staying over there like bro david we'll call him over if i can remember where it's at um let's see. wait can i pay for the venue because i'm still trying to see i think i took out thing to pay for the venue fees when i was updating all my mods invite to hang out at current lot uh, David. Hey, David, you trying to you trying to come up here? I know you ain't staying over at your house with your whole family there. I know you ain't doing it. David is sleepy. Oh, okay. So he actually, he actually stayed over there. Okay. Well, go on, David. He's, he went to bed. He was nodding off in the pool. So oh, yeah, okay, David, stay over there. You don't want to hang out with your girl, with your fiance? I never could say the right thing. I'm like, girlfriend, wife. <laughs> you don't want to hang out with your fiance? I get it. I get it. 
And let's actually, is she tired? Because if she's not, oh, she's not tired. Let's work on this book, Nay. Write a mystery novel, okay. Let's write it. Let's write book, mystery. Yeah, we're gonna write this mystery because she is not tired. Every man in town, every woman in town, <laughs> every woman. Y'all can go to sleep, you know it's three in the morning. Yeah, but Naomi, she gonna stay up all night. She ain't even tired, bro. Oh my, look at Elian, bro. I love, I just downloaded this uh, new dance <laughs> overhaul mod. I finally got it. I cannot find it for like the longest, but oh my gosh, this dancing is so funny. Yeah, do not talk to them. Even though everybody wants to come here and start like talking about their whole life story. Like, <laughs> I know I was there. <laughs> we are family, remember? Like you guys, I'm actually trying to work. You know what, Naomi? She probably should have just went upstairs and actually just went to her desk. Like, then again, what's the point of that? They would have came up in the room and been bobbing her right by her desk too. Like, what's the point of that? Let's be antisocial for once, hello? Maybe we should have went in here and just locked the door. <laughs> Lock the door, man. Shingiru. Okay, it looks like he's not as drunk now, but Naomi's kind of just hearing him out over everything. And Shingiru's kind of like, you know, from the past, like, couple of times, you know, just talking with you and actually getting to talk to Derek today. She's like, I, I understand where you're coming from. I know that this is going to be, you know, your father-in-law. And even though, like, everything that happened in the past with, like, him, me, and your mom, it's it's fine like I'm a, I'm gonna be cordial for you and I'll put my differences you know aside you know just because like he's gonna be a part of your family now so they were talking about all freaking night <laughs> and, and uh, literally she pulled an all-nighter oh my gosh it's like eight o'clock now and Naomi's just like feeling a lot really reassured oh I should have put this in the fridge oh jeez Naomi's feeling really reassured that her dad is actually like seeing where she came from you know and like i understand you know like what kind of happened because he kind of went through the whole thing of like telling her about everything that kind of happened like back in college and she's just like you know like i, I get it i understand like i see where you're coming from but like this is gonna be my like father man like my my, my second father you know so yeah they, they kind of just hurt hurt each other out and are now on like a better page which is great apply sunburn protection we actually need to apply that before we go out because i do have a mod where they will get suntans if they're out in the sun too long where did the book go every woman in town send the client for approval every woman in town too <laughs> bro i'm like where is the book oh hello naomi naomi has been recognized for a great performance and client satisfaction all that typing, spell checking, and proofreading didn't get her down. In addition to raising her rate, Naomi also received rewards. So we have the Supreme Freelance Award and the Free Roam Portable Computing Device and an increased pay on all gigs. Mm -hmm. W. Okay, so we have made it all the way from like this section and i'm just curious as to how much more we get paid it's like less well, so we used to get like a 2000 one. Oh yeah no yeah so actually we're gonna have our girl naomi go home now i mean we didn't even sleep <laughs> we didn't even sleep i'll have her use the bathroom first but we're actually gonna have her go home and then we're gonna put up all of our new freelance things that we got nice but yeah w party um w hangout okay so let's go back home so we're gonna bring our brother david with this <laughs> since david's gonna stay over i want to see if we can do like a stay over just so he doesn't leave so he comes back you know to our place because i think that'll make it easier come on david oh my gosh this music bruh like come on we're back here at naomi's apartment and of course the property owner is outside waiting for us we have freaking max over here waiting for naomi and so here it says we have to socialize with the property owner max that was our bestie bro that's our bestie okay let's invite him to the wedding I think we already did. Wait, I thought I could invite him to the wedding. Maybe he's already coming to the wedding because I think I did invite him. I think I did. All right, let's actually compliment his house. We love, you know, your apartment. We love staying here, Max. Please do not evict me and kick me out on the streets. Just have a deep conversation, you know? Look, look at our relationship, bro. Like, we're literally best friends. Let's ask about his career. Like, oh, Max, like, what, what do you do for work again? Um, Are you an actor? Are you just like a... It's an still a smuggler. That's how you became famous by being a smuggler? Oh, sheesh. Okay, Max. <laughs> Wait, where is, where is, where did David go? Where are, 
He's just on the ground. Oh, God. <sighs> David, David, David. Ask to move in. Y'all, I think we need to talk about it. <laughs> I think we need to talk about it. Yo, I think we need to talk about it. Because I literally was just thinking, the wedding is next week. We are still kind of living separately. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're actually going to sit down and we're going to discuss our future together. Majority of discussing the future of us living together now, you know? I see that your family is like all staying in your apartment and David's like, yeah, it's a packed house. He's just like, I already, like, I don't want to like bombard you if you have like something you have to do where, you know, you might not want me like around like in your space, like if you need like some, and Naomi's like, no, like, what are you talking about? Like, you're always here anyways. I appreciate you like asking, <laughs> even though you're always here yeah but why don't you like start thinking of like officially like moving in you know like they are thinking about getting a house together after the wedding so when david is going to move in i saw how much money that they have they have about 30k and majority of that money is david so uh, we'll leave dylan with something but david's gonna take pretty much like 25k of the 30k because david was the only one working we literally just gave dylan a job not too long ago in a past episode so yeah dylan we leaving him with 5k he got a job now so he making that money but like when david was the only one working so like it makes sense okay <laughs> I wasn't going to leave him broke, okay? I gave him 5k, like that's a lot. But yeah, David's going to bring at least 25k with him. So we'll have some money and we are going to look, we're going to get a real estate um, agent in another kind of episode and we're going to kind of talk with them and view houses and things like that. So yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be kind of crazy. But yeah, we're going to get into that. But David's like, I just got to get a picture of you. You just look so cute in that dress. <laughs> Oh, this is Naomi's book, Blight. See, it is doing well. She is making money from it. And I definitely want Naomi to post more on her blog. So we're going to have her get on this. I want her to post something like every day. Like, I really want her to get into like blogging. That's like her new thing now. Like after she like was doing so much with like her freelance work. Like that's like her thing now. Oh, she got zero. <laughs> Oh, she didn't get anything from that. Let me actually put up her little, her little freelance award that she got. All right, we'll put it. All right, we'll we'll put on move objects just because I really want it to be like right here. Oh man, that is so cute. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Her little freelance writing award. All right, David, I might start selling all your stuff. We're probably gonna delete this. Cause what are we gonna do with this, these caution barriers? What, like, what is this? All right, David, yeah, I'm selling all your stuff. You ain't gonna use it. <laughs> You, you ain't gonna use it, I guarantee you. Oh my gosh, this is getting us a lot of money. Oh, I bet I should've sold this. Yeah, so we'll keep these things in her inventory and then um, we'll probably like use them in like their future house. If not, then, you know, they're there. But yeah, that got us a lot of money, bro. We had a 32K, nay. Nay, we, we rolling, bro, we rolling. <laughs> We're probably gonna use some of that to put down for the house. So yeah, we rolling, bro, we rolling. So I'm actually gonna have Naomi come through and we're gonna wash some clothes because um everybody else has been washing our clothes, <laughs> but we haven't even washed clothes before. So I, all these new outfits and things that she got, like all her other stuff is dirty. So we gotta wash some clothes. All right, y'all, we got the clothes in the washing machine. Um, So I'm just gonna have Naomi just wash the laundry. Oh Lord, are these both broken? How are we supposed to? Lord, just repair those nay oh jeez i really want naomi to come back home go home david please please oh my gosh this man is literally dying oh my gosh all right let me save it real quick oh my gosh this man is gonna die i'm glad i checked i was about to have me a frozen beyonce get out of there what are you doing i can't with this man as naomi was like thinking ever since she finished like her freelance work and she was uh, getting this email from um, one of the like, the people who provides her with like the gigs and things like that for the freelance work. She was thinking she was like, because they were talking about like, oh yeah, like you can get like more pay. Uh, let's see, wait, what, what else did they say on there? You get an increased pay on any future gigs um, and you can be able to like rise up higher, you know, if you want to do more freelance work. And she was like, that's the thing. Like, I don't know if I want to do more freelance work she's just thinking like i'm really interested in doing like the blog and actually like publishing my own work 
so uh, we're actually going to have Naomi actually get a new job. A lot of people are really interested in Naomi's work just because of her freelance work that she had, but also she's the daughter of Malaya, the global superstar, and people really love their family already. So she's had a few people kind of like, you know, see what she's up to and then check in with the family and keep up with the family from all the things that Malaya has done and they know about Naomi and like her siblings and whatnot. Like I was saying earlier, like she doesn't want to be like famous famous, but she wants to use like her already like status that she already received because she's like freaking like two star celebrity. She's a rising star right now. Like she really wants to use this fame status that she has already gained to be able to have more like followers and engagement with her novels and books that she's gonna write. So um, she really wants to get more into doing like the blogging, the public relations, really like getting into that kind of work. And then also like get into like writing maybe later on. So Naomi's kind of going through like different kind of career paths. She's kind of been doing freelance work ever since she got out of college and pretty much this whole series, she's been doing freelance work, but now she really wants to get into something new and something different yeah yeah it should be great lord oh trendy oh, naomi's blog is currently trending be sure to capitalize on this surge of popularity and oh, wait she's trending right now oh man if she's trending then hold on okay um let's do helpful well i mean the only thing we have is the the parenting one is it too soon to do things with parenting you know is it too soon i mean she did learn you know some things because naomi likes to be prepared you know she's like okay i'm about to have a baby i need to learn about you know like more parenting tips and different tips and tricks and things but yeah kind of kind of sad to do this already oh she gained 60 more followers look at naomi oh my gosh okay so we're gonna select a new career for naomi she did have um her degree still so she can still be able to get like a signing bonus and a boost just because of her degree and then get higher up in uh, the field so she can either be a civic planner where she can get a little boost or she can get into public relations and this is where i'm really thinking naomi will really thrive because uh, going corporate is not always a bad thing it gives a view to the highest level of celebrities and publicizing large products Convincing people to show off is one of your best skills. There is nothing too big for you to spin in your favor. So she could be a public relations coordinator. So she really loves talking to people. She loves working with people, just as she's been doing with her freelance career. And she has seen a little bit of like the entertainment industry being, you know, the daughter of Malaya, who has been like the most top global actress superstar, you know, and all of the sim world but she has really just like loved being on like the back end you know like helping people and getting into this new field i mean she's been knowing i mean she knows max like he's a global superstar like she's been knowing a lot of like famous sims just because she's kind of been in that realm and she really wants to get into like helping out doing some pr work and think thinking that this could be a good path for her because I mean we could do and be a writer or whatnot but Naomi even though she loves writing like she doesn't really want to like get into like writing like you know like books for work like she wants to do that on like her free time like she wants to be like an author and just kind of publish be like self-publish like her own work because she already has the name out there I mean being the daughter of Malaya, she already has her name out there, but she doesn't really want to like write books and work for someone like in that regard. Like she wants to do that on her own, you know, and really like excel herself, kind of like her own kind of like little freelance thing. But yeah, I really think public relations would be a great career for Naomi to get into. So we're actually going to switch her career to PR. Oh my gosh. Okay. Due to her degree in this field, Naomi has been awarded a signing bonus of one thousand nine hundred eighty six simoleons so that is so w we are rolling in money we're rolling in money and then with david's cash let's just buy a house when david moves in okay <laughs> naomi now starts public relations coordinator at sim.tv she starts friday at 8 a.m oh my gosh wait we have to go into work wow that's crazy we work eight to four you know what i actually think that Naomi's gonna work from home tomorrow because we got some stuff to do. So I think she's actually gonna start working from home. But we also, I do have this mod where you can have more than one job. So we also kind of have Naomi's freelance writing skill here. So if she wants to make like 
some more quick cash we can still do that jump on this work assignment jump start get to know sims in the spice market sure visit the spice market and get to know a sim you haven't met yo let's go look at naomi she's like oh my gosh like this new job this new career path like this is gonna be so great this is gonna be a really interesting fun new path so yeah we're really excited for her we're really excited for her it's gonna be kind of crazy because we have to like go to work and i've had the good life of working from home <laughs> way too good but uh it should be fine um, some days we could probably like work from home we might have to like travel and like go out places but hopefully it won't be too much with a lot of the other stuff with the wedding and things kind of happening so i don't know naomi she's a workaholic we're doing kind of all of it all at once so <laughs> hopefully it's not too bad but i'm gonna end this part right here hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching so many cool things happen this episode so hopefully you guys have enjoyed it definitely make sure you give this video a like if you enjoyed it you probably did just hit the like button like just we can wait it's just just scroll down some and then you know hit it <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video definitely subscribe to the channel down below we are literally getting to the wedding I, I know you guys have been loving it but we're eventually getting to the wedding soon <laughs> there's just so many things that i really want to explore more with naomi and also david too and the family so hopefully you guys are enjoying it stay tuned for the next episode but thank you so much for watching this video stay beautiful and handsome as you already been before and i'll see you guys in the next one bye Yeah.